So you went out and got yourself a set of all-terrain tires. They're designed for severe snow conditions and even have the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake symbol rating on them. Let's see how they compare to dedicated winter tires. So this is where we are filming. This is an empty parking lot. This is probably best case scenario for these snow tires. Uh, I say that because there's only about an inch of snow on the ground. You can actually see the pavement in a lot of areas. Uh, it is, there is ice underneath. But let's see how it works. So I'm going to accelerate up to 35 miles per hour here, and when I reach the camera, I will hold the brake pedal as hard as I can. So this is 35 miles an hour. Cameraman Tony is walking out the paces because he was nice enough to stand there in, uh, in the cold film this. Eighty-eight feet. Eighty-eight feet? That's very scientific. But that'll do. Wow, that's sad. That's pathetic. Eighty-eight feet stopping distance from thirty-five. So I think I want to do the same thing, come down like basically the same path and try to turn. Okay. You don't want to do that? Okay. So we've got a second car to test. This one is equipped with snow tires. What we're going to do is we're going to drive, come down here, drive straight, Cameraman Tony is going to film his angle, and this trash can is going to be where we stop. So we're going to go up to 35 miles an hour. We're going to stop as soon as we see the trash, or as soon as we pass the trash can. No, this isn't super scientific, but it should give you a good idea. You ready on that? Let's try that again. Take three, 35, two vehicles, switching lanes. After these tests, we drove straight home and I swapped my all-terrain tires out for my winter tire set. The winter tires are Michelin XI3 in stock size and on stock wheels. If anyone cares, it took us under 15 minutes to switch these out. We then drove straight back to the testing ground. Second set of tires, 35 mile an hour, stopping test. Let's see what that looks like in a split screen side by side. Tony is now walking. Again, the trash can was the marker. We've got a bender now. So it was 88 feet, 88 Tony feet, which is, okay, to 62 Tony feet. Uh, that's, yeah. that's 22 Tony feet different. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> or sad, one of the two. Yeah, I'm going to do, uh, I think I'm going to try the turn test again, although I think, I imagine it's going to fare better. Yep. I'm waiting. 35 mile an hour. Turn test.
second set of tires side by side. About the same. That is amazing. Lane switch, second set of tires. About even. So what did we learn? We learned that all trains are no good on ice. We learned that all trains are probably no good in snow and that the snow rating system doesn't mean anything. The Three Peak Mountain Snowflake symbol is at best marketing fluff. I do have to say I like these all-terrains for three season tires and would recommend them to anyone that doesn't drive in the snow regularly. Thanks for watching. I'll continue testing.